Internationalizing the, uh, the discourse, the practices about indigenous people's health research or research on indigenous health is something absolutely crucial because as we know, uh, everyone in our countries or in our nation states, uh, we encounter certain attitudes which are very uh, seldom positive attitudes about indigenous peoples. So the, therefore, the need to break out, to go out of uh, these narrow boundaries of nation states, of countries, and encountering other indigenous peoples, encountering peoples in the world at large who are sensitive, who are sympathetic, and are, who are empathetic to indigenous peoples some, is something very vital. It is a natural reflex in the indigenous person to want to break out of boundaries, to, to want to really achieve a circle, but a very large circle, a very large circle, an international kind of circle. Uh, ever since I, I have been uh, <coughs> a young lad, uh, I, have, I have been exposed to international uh, things, uh, people. I have been encouraged to learn many languages. And uh, this is something that all traditional indigenous peoples value very much, the need and the, uh, the benefit of linking with the world at large. Because in our own countries, <coughs> Compassion is very hard to come by, and understanding is hard to come by. Therefore, we have a natural instinct to break out of these narrow boundaries, narrow country boundaries, and to, to, to network and to connect with people at large. And, and this is uh, some, I think this is the most important uh, way of looking at research on health, internationalizing our presence, our discourse, our way of looking at ourselves as indigenous peoples and of part of the world at large.